Yo, what is up, D-Dub Squad? Back here at Wyland's DIY for episode two. It's gonna be another lit day. I'm out here right now with Aaron and Nate Payne. You can't see him over there because it's really dark. It's currently 5.25 this morning. Me, Aaron, and Nate literally tried to sleep here last night. Like, we kept going in and out, but it was so sketchy. It was just way too dark, and we couldn't like talk loud like I am now. We had to whisper like this because we were scared that the cops were gonna come, and it was horrible, and you couldn't really see anything. So we ended up just going right back to my house, and then I was like, I'm not going to sleep all night. You know me, I've, I ended up falling asleep after watching videos on my phone, and once I woke up, I woke up exactly at five, so God woke me up exactly whenever we come to this DIY like last time, because we came exactly at five last time. We got ready and then we left my house around like probably 5.15, 5.20. So now we're here at 5.25. Today all we're gonna do is clean the middle and then we're gonna try as much as possible. If you guys remember when we were cleaning in the background, there's those like big cans of oils. Some are empty and some have a lot of oil in them. So we're gonna try our best because they're really heavy to put them somewhere so they're out of the way. I'm gonna move tires today and then we might clean that room right behind me because there's still a lot of glass in there but all we're still worried about is this main area and this time i brought a shovel from my house so we get that middle piece up like i wish i could show you guys how good it's looking but you really can't see it like literally right there it's just the middle piece and everything else is so much clean uh it's gonna be another good day but yeah i hope you guys enjoy wyland's diy episode two let's get right into the cleaning before the sun came up me and nate got that whole like all the crap that was there covered it's all over there now i'm working on this right now and aaron's working on the middle i was going to start the time lapse but it was too dark too so i'll start it right now yeah we going in again this is that intrusion spending like we got them ends this is that conclusion you should bring your friend again i find that shit amusing take a shot you see it now you don't that's the illusion yeah i'm packing clubs best believe i'm on my caddy flow i guess that is apparent even your mom and your daddy know that i put on that dope show show them just what man's about and they rooting for the kid that's because i'm branching out gotta keep it moving sorry baby i don't like to wait i'm hungry and i'm driven can you please get me your license plate girl be feeling it they killing it i see them dead chicks got that money they stick to you yeah i guess that brand sticks nigga got a vision i don't think you see it well over when the fat lady sings do you see it well i am young and i am reckless but some hung just like a necklace go against me and you screw so texas <laughs> Me, Nate, and Aaron all been cleaning up the DIY for two hours now, and just look at it. That will dry just like the last video, if you guys remember when we got all the roofing and the tarp up from the ground. There's, it's just all wet, and we got most of the dirt off the ground. That's basically just all wet right now, and by next weekend it should dry. Well, no, it will dry, just like last time, if you guys remember, like I said. Over there, when we got like most of the tarp up, it just dried out. I'm just going to give you guys an overview once again. It's so crazy how much we got done just in two hours. So starting off here, there's the run-up. We cleaned up the run-up. So, like, when we put ramps in there, you can run up and, like, hit a kicker or something. Just look at it, guys. It's insane. Like, it's literally, yeah, of course there's going to be little pieces of glass or anything on the ground, but we're going to get that up. We're going to touch it up each time we come. Aaron's still brimming right there. What do you, you got anything to say about this building? Man, hard work really does pay off. Yeah, hard. And the ramps are in here. Yeah, exactly. Hard work is going to pay off once we have actually somewhere to ride. No one's going to mess it up. Look at that. And then the last time lapse was over here. I'm going to show you guys this. We just got to move that too. And we got all of that off too. Don't go up there. I don't want cars seeing you. And then we cleaned off this. I don't know if I showed that in the last video, but me, Aaron, and Nate cleaned all this off. So it's like a ledge. That's like our first ramp, basically. It's not really a ramp, but it's a ledge. We might try to make a kicker out of the stuff we have because we got all those tires and a bunch of um, cement. I mean, cement. What am I saying? Uh, what do they call it, Aaron? Cinder 
cinder blocks, my bad. And then before I actually came here, before we started cleaning this up, like a few months ago, like in the winter, I would always put these on the sideline because I always knew that we were going to clean this place up someday and make it beautiful. It's just insane how much we got done. It's so crazy. I can't wait to put the ramps in here. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is you guys are probably wondering, what are you going to name this place? Like the chamber has the chamber. That's what it's named. I, I don't know how it got that name. I think it was Chase Dehart who made the chamber and he just called it the chamber. And no, I'm not going to keep this name, Violence DIY. That's just the series on my channel of what it's called because it's on my channel and all my friends are helping me build this DIY. I'm not just naming it Violence DIY, the whole building, because that's totally disrespectful and uncalled for me to do because all my friends are helping me do this. And trust me, a lot more people are going to help build the ramps and we're basically done cleaning up a like I said, we're going to come here every time we ride and just touch it up a little bit. But this is what we're going to call it. See that sign right there? It says, Awning Sales Supply Service Authorized Dealer. That's what this was called before. It was called Awnings because, like I said, it was a, a it's now an abandoned car shack or whatever. And they used to, like, clean cars over here. And then up there was the car lift and everything. And then I think they would do a few more things. But, yeah, we're calling it Awnings since that's, like, the real name of the building. And it's just, I don't know. It might not be a cool name, but we're just going to keep it that. Not Like I said, I'm not going to keep it just Wildlands DIY. That's just a series on my channel because, like I said, that's way uncalled for and disrespectful because all my friends are helping me make it, not just myself. And, man, I, I know I keep saying it, but, like, it's crazy just how much we got done. Oh, oh, Josh Diener. Josh Diener, my friend Josh Diener, uh, you guys remember him, the guy that's always crazy doing backflips. He took a picture on his Instagram for like the summertime. Thanks, Nate, for handing me the phone. Um, he took a picture on the summertime on his Instagram when he actually, when this place wasn't locked up from me and Nick and calling in it, and that door over there was unlocked, and him and his friend came in here, and I want to show you what this picture looks like. Look at that. You see that? That's this place. Here was the place just the summertime that passed, and here it is now. That's just insane. Once again, you guys have any words? Because this is like this just makes me speechless how much we're doing. Any words? Nope. I can't tell my mom who did this. Why? She didn't make me sweep overnight. <laughs> oh, I, I can't stop looking at this picture. Hold up, let it focus again. That's this place. No way. That's not possible. That we did that much. In two episodes. Yeah, two episodes we cleaned this whole place well, up. We spent two hours, not two hours. We spent two hours here and then an hour and a half. Three and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half hours, just this. That should make you guys more motivated to do things in life. My dad said I'll do this, but I won't clean my room. Anymore. Yeah, I know. It's funny as hell. All three of us just moved that big ass tank from over here to over there. How much do you think that weighs? Like 3,000 pounds. A you, lot. You think? We wish we could get it more in there so we could go off the ledge, but we should be fine. We're about to be out for the day, out of the DIY. We just got done riding a little bit in here. It's really fun riding. We were riding that ledge, and we're probably just going to go out, go back to my house. Do you guys think I should keep filming for the day or no? Because, like, I did have a whole scooter video yesterday. I don't know if they want to see it again. Well, you can just do it. I don't know. We a whole day ahead of us. Let's see if we do something stupid. Yeah, true. Aaron just said if you didn't hear him, we got a whole day ahead of us. We'll see if we do something stupid. So uh, we're going to go back to my house. I think they're going to get breakfast at my house and check up with you guys wherever we are in the next clip. After me, Nate, and Aaron all fixed up the DIY for the second episode today, Aaron and Nate came back to my house and they ate breakfast. And Nate had to leave, unfortunately, because he had to do a few chores at home. And then me and Aaron rode to Paulsboro, got me something to eat. And then now we're here at this church and there's a four set, a five set, and then up there's a three set. I filmed the vlog here before, but I never posted it because it wouldn't let me upload it for some reason. I got a few clips here, but since I never filmed here before, we're obviously going to get you guys some clips and we rode down here, put on a hoodie because it's kind of chilly out, even though it is 53, but we're used to like 60, 70, 80s now. So yeah, we're going to get some clips for you guys off the steps here at the church now. Yeah. My highest set that I ever truck driver was a four set, so I just got it off that five set, so I'm gonna get it on film right now. Yeah. I got one thing to say. See that sign right there? Um, I don't see our sport on it. And yeah, some, some guy went by, he was like, he said, yo, can you read the sign? I was like, what do you mean? And it was like, you can't read it, says no bicycle, skateboards, or rollerblades. And Aaron was like, my sport doesn't apply, so we're not leaving. 
Oh, yeah. So look at the sign before you ride somewhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just rode over to the high school here in Paulsboro on Aaron's about the bar's first ever seven set. Yup. Oh, come on, you got it, bro. Second attempt for his first ever bar seven set. Yeah, there you go, second try. Hi, okay, so we just woke up. Okay, okay, we came home and we woke up from a nice long nap. I'm eating peach rolls. I tried to do some things with them. <laughs> Guys, I just woke up from a nap and it felt good. Mm -hmm. When we sleep from, like, I think we oh, got back at like, like 11. No, bro, I was watching Scooter Brad when you were asleep. It was like 10 30. Oh, crap. And we woke up at 12 30. Oh, that's a good sleep. I don't know if we'll do anything else today. That was just kind of like just a rainy, boring yeah. day. So, oh, it stopped. Is it wet? Um, yes, it's soaked. Oh, man. Um, it's like on it was like one shower. of the. It was like one of those days when it rains, it's like, psh, psh, outside. No. We'll see if we do anything else. I might hang out with Sped Nick. Oh, no. Ooh, outro. I forgot. Boom. Not an outro. All right, D-Dub Squad. I think I'm just going to end the vlog off for today here because after I just go to the gym like four to five times a week and then I ride during the weekend and on Sunday and I just know that I have school tomorrow, all the soreness from riding and going to the gym, like I said, for four to five times a week just hits me, especially from cleaning up the DIY. It also gets you sore. So, yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog off short and sweet here. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.